to have you on. This is the sixth yeah, time the president has visited your state. He clearly believes he has a captive audience there. Your thoughts? Well, he might believe that, but what is it now? Almost nine out of 10 of our fellow citizens think the country's on the wrong track. I mean, that, that's up like 15 points from just a few months ago. So that's how bad things are. I don't know that making a trip to Ohio is gonna change things. And I do think it's interesting. You mentioned the Senate race. Where's Tim Ryan? I, I don't think he's gonna be with President Biden today. So the President of the United States makes a sixth trip to your mm -hmm. state. You're running for United States Senate and you're not gonna show up. I think that tells you everything about where this administration is and everything that they've done policy-wise, how wrong it's turned out to be. Yeah, you mentioned Tim Ryan. There's a lot of other Democrats in the past week or so who have said, you know what, I'm gonna handle my own campaigning thanks to President Biden. But you look at the numbers and the Monmouth numbers here, Congressman, are pretty staggering now. The approval rating for the president sits now at 36%. We all know that one of the key indicators in the midterms is the president's approval rating, and that right now is disastrous. He's a drag on the party. Yeah. How do you capitalize on that, sir? Well, well, frankly, I, I, Trace, I, I'm surprised it's that high. I mean, who are these 36 percent of the people who think we are, you know, do, things are going well, who think we are on the right track uh, or who approve of his you know, job performance? That we had a secure border. It's now complete chaos. We don't we no longer have a border. We had, you know, stable, uh, uh, stable pricing. We now have a 41 year high inflation rate. We had uh, energy independence. We now got five dollar gas and we used to have safe streets. And now we got record crime in every major urban area. And I haven't even got into foreign policy or what they're trying to do to people's First Amendment and Second Amendment liberties. So I, I think I don't think it really matters what what he says now, because it's sort of the country gets it. They understand mm -hmm. how bad it is with the Biden administration and frankly, Democrats controlling the House and the Senate. And that's why I think there's going to be a big change come uh, come midterm election. Yeah, and the Democrats, of course, they want to change the framing on this. A, a, a Biden ally said to NBC News, the following quoting here, you will see them, the Biden administration officials, having a sharper message as we get close to the fall. That message will revolve around painting the Republican Party as extreme and doing things that are actively hurting people's lives. I mean, the bottom line here, Congressman, is, is the Democrats are planning to say the Republicans are going to take away your rights. Yeah, they don't have a messaging problem. They got a policy problem and they're doing it intentionally. They're intentionally doing it to our southern border, having no border at all, having this chaos there. So I don't think they can they can message their way out of this. It's bad policies. We're the party that says we actually like stable prices. We're the party that says you should fund the police and have safe cities. We're the party that says we like two dollar gas, not five dollar gas in this crazy green agenda that the Democrats are pushing. And we're the party that says we respect your First Amendment liberties, your right to free speech, and we respect your Second Amendment rights. We're not trying to take away your firearms if you're a law-abiding citizen. So we're the ones who have the, the policies that are consistent with America. They're the ones who are radical. And I think that, again, the country's already figured it out. So yeah. try as they may, they're not going to change things. I think it's going to be a big win for Republicans this November. Yeah, you've, in this interview a couple of times, Congressman, have mentioned the border. Is that one of those issues that you believe is starting to bubble up and become prevalent, especially the fentanyl crisis coming across? Yeah, because it impacts every community. As has been said many times, every state's now a border state because of the just the huge number of, of illegals who've entered our country, record after record after record, and all the drugs that come into that have caused harm to so many communities. So the country gets that issue as well. And they, and they just get it instinctively that things are on the wrong track. And they hate this attitude. This attitude from yeah. Washington that says Washington's so much smarter than the folks who live here in the heartland where you make things, grow things, move things. You actually go to work in manufacturing, construction, agriculture, trucking. Oh, the people who act, the disdain that the, that the elites in D.C. and New York and San Francisco have for us folks who are out here in the, in, in the heartland, so to say. Um, I think the country understands that's the mindset of the Democrats as well. And that's why they're going to be in trouble uh, when we get to November 8th. Congressman Jim Jordan, great to have you on, sir, as always. Thank you. You bet. Thank you.